Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it is a fantastic solar day in Hawaii here today. There we have 470 watts of solar coming into the battery today. No obstruction for once, no clouds. Beautiful bright sunny day on the panels. And out of that 470 watt panel array, it's letting in 235 watts. So it's not letting in all that it's capable of, and that's because we're getting near a full charge. Sitting at 82.7, on its way up to probably about 90% or so. So today is actually 108 days running this new system. And besides dropping in the, the 300 amp hour lithium battery from Chins to start this whole project, I've had to add a few other components as a lot of you have been watching and know. Had to run a fuse, a couple of bus bars, added the uh, reliable pure sine wave inverter, 12 volt, 3000 watt, and that's all in preparation. This whole project has been all in preparation of dropping in another 300 amp hour battery pack right next to that, tying it in together in parallel to give me a 600 amp hour battery bank. And what that's all about is to then I can go into this hard wire block on the inverter and we're going to tie in an electric refrigerator to run off of this system besides everything else in the house. So for the past 108 days I have been working out all of the little bugs and learning exactly how this system's working, how much I'm cycling throughout the day and night and for the past few days, I've really got this thing dialed in pretty tight. I'm going up to about 80% full charge, which is what most people recommend as your sweet spot, and then not going below 25% uh, uh, in your cycle uh, for the longevity of these batteries. Of course, these batteries can be discharged 100% and of course charged up 100% but for for reaching the absolute optimum uh, uh, lifespan of this most people are saying between 80 and 25% so I've been pretty much doing that I get up to about 80 90% every day been trying to hold it at about 80 and throughout the night, we never take it down below 60%. So we're operating right within the sweet spot just for our normal usage and, uh, throughout the day and night. And that's just working perfectly. So I have a really good indication now of how well uh, it's working. And then we're going to, like I said, drop in another battery, turn this into a 600 amp hour battery bank and then tie on a refrigerator and get off the propane. Getting tired of hauling propane bottles at this age, they're heavy, and uh, I just don't want to carry them anymore and get enough sunshine here and with the extra battery bank uh, pack going up to 600 amp hours, gonna have enough to run that refrigerator. So I'm leaving a lot of these wires a little loose in their configuration right now because this is not how it will look in its final application. Once I stick another battery in here, I may turn them around that way, run them off of that wall. I'm not really sure till I get that uh, second pack in here and see how it'll line up best for uh, being in this kind of a tight utility room. So going to add that second battery here shortly and then I'll have to uh, tighten everything up in here. But I've been leaving it like this as I run it through its three month trial, uh, which is a lot for me to understand everything about this chemistry and to try the various components. So extremely pleased with the inverter. It's working 
just flawlessly, no problems. The battery, couldn't be happier with that. And then that little battery monitor down there, that's the real uh, thing you really need on here to always know what state you're in. Because the voltage change is so little on the, on the lithium, as many of you know. I didn't know all of that in the beginning, so I've been learning as I go and just trying to pass this information on to all of you that are new to this as well. I know a lot of you uh, have really helped me a lot in things to look out for and what things I should do and not do, and I really appreciate all that advice. So one of the questions I have is when I get uh, to where I'm ready to drop in the second battery, uh, would you recommend discharging both battery packs down to zero or thereabouts and then bring them both up to a full charge? That's kind of my understanding of what to do once I get the second one to tie in parallel with this, is to discharge them both, which Chins does actually recommend that when you first get the battery, discharge it initially all the way, then charge it up all the way, and then start using it in your system and, and regularly cycling it. So once I get uh, the second one in here, that's my plan. Discharge both batteries all the way, tie it up into the solar, and then bring it up to a full charge. And if I need to throw on that little charger right there to help it along, then um, I will. But that's kind of what I'm thinking right now I'll need to do is once I get the second one tied in parallel, is to go ahead and uh, discharge and then fully dis uh, charge them up together and everything should work out fine. I am gonna ask Chins about that. They're really good about giving you any kind of technical help that you might need on your system. But this is everything I've learned in the past uh, several months and now it's ready for to get complete. So waiting on the second battery here, gonna tie it up. And then I can eliminate one more thing on living off grid and I can eliminate that propane because it takes about two gallons of propane to run the refrigerator every week. So eight gallons a month just for refrigeration where I can, with the addition of a battery, the sunshine can take care of that. I'm gonna be really pleased to go into that next upgrade and that should be happening here pretty shortly. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I really appreciate all the help and tips from you that comment. It has helped me immensely. I'm looking forward to the next project of the first project of the third project. <laughs> That's how it goes on solar. Always got to uh, be adding a little bit to it. Beautiful solar day here. All right. Aloha. Everybody stay safe out there.